Welcome to the Delta Math Solution. Here we're going to find, complete the square constant. Basically, we're going to complete the square. Let's take a look. You have this quadratic equation. x squared minus 20x plus 24 equals to 0. First step. I'm going to subtract the 24 to the other side, leaving me with x squared minus 20x equals to negative 24. That is step negative 1. Okay. Now I want to find my b term. My b term is right here, which is going to be my negative 20. This is my b term. All right. Then I'm going to divide my b term in half. So I'm going to half it. This gets me negative 10. Then I'm going to grab my negative 10, then square it. That will get me 100, All right? So 100 is what I'm going to now add to this. So this was my original. But this time, I'm going to now add 100 to both sides. The reason why I'm going to add 100 to both sides is this allows me to now factor this, all right? But I'm done here in the sense of this problem. So the answer is just negative. Oh, I'm adding one, we're, we're adding 100, all right? Because if you factor this, this will get you x plus, no, x minus 10 times x minus 10 okay will equal to this negative 24 plus 100 is i think 76 yeah but all they want here is this this is refer as to the magic number all right this is the number that you can add to both sides of this equation so that you can complete the square Is it letting me? Is it, or is it lagging? Oh my god, it's lagging. Uh, now it's gonna be a new problem. Oh. One hundred. Submit. Thank you. There you go. One hundred. Okay. That was the magic number. This process, if you check, all you have to do is this is the half step. You half the number. And now here you, oh, that's this step right here. Where you find the B, you want to half it. Then this is when you square it. So those are the two things that you have to do. Find B. Half that number, then square that number. Let's do a new problem. You have this, which is just going to be x squared plus 7x plus 30 equals to 0. Subtract 30 to both sides. You should now get x squared plus 7x equals to negative 30. Okay find the b b is equal to 7 i'm referring to this number now you are going to half it so 7 divided by 2 is 3.5 now you are going to square it which is going to be 3.5 squared equals to now you're like well this part is hard well just grab decimals so i have decimals here i enter 3.5 and i square it okay i get my answer of one 
twelve point two five. That one point that twelve point two five is my magic number. That is what I'm going to do here. Alright. So I'm going to add I'm going to add 12.25 to both sides. And now I can factor it. This is going to factor into x plus 3.5, okay? Times x plus 3.5 equal to and we have to do that part which is negative 30 plus 12.25 which is negative 17.5, okay? But this is going to be our magic number. And so we can just go back to Delta Math and just enter in our magic number. 12.25, submit, and that is what we got. You could also leave it in a fraction if you would like. Let's do one more problem. It's going to be the same steps. x squared minus 6x plus 6 equals to 0. Subtract 6 to both sides. We have now x squared minus 6x is equal to negative 6. This is good because this is an even number. So that is our b. We're going to find B. B is equal to negative 6. Now you want to half the B. So this negative 6 divided by 2 gets you negative 3. Now you want to square it, which is negative 3 squared, which is going to be equal to 9. Here you go. If you don't see that, negative 3 squared is... I forgot my parentheses. All right, get you nine. Okay, so nine is going to be our magic number that we are going to be adding to both sides. So you're going to be adding this nine to both sides. Okay, this is going to be the magic number. Why? Because now you're allowed to factor this using your diamond method, which is just x right here. Once you half it, you get it right here. x minus 3, parentheses, x minus 3. You get it. The These values just, in short, if you do the diamond method, you're going to notice it's negative 3 here. Negative 6 plus 3 gets you 3. So, go bring back. They just want to look for the magic number, which was just 9 was the number that we just used to add to both sides so we can complete the square. All right, there you go. So, three steps. Find the B, half the B, then square that. That's how you get the magic number. I decide to show you all the steps because in the class lecture, I show you all the steps, all right? But there you go. That is how you find and complete the square constant.